The Rio bound saber fencer is making history, becoming the first American Muslim woman to compete in the Olympics while wearing a hijab. I wish that it wasn't the case. I wish that there had been tons of women before me who had achieved this. Getting to this point hasn't been easy. Mohammed grew up in a big family in Maplewood, New Jersey, and as a devout Muslim, only allows her face and hands to show. My mom was always, you know, uh, changing the uniform for me by adding long sleeves or adding long pants where my teammates would wear tank tops or shorts. In most sports, that made her look and feel different. Then one day while sitting at a stoplight with her mom, she saw something that would change her life forever. They had on long pants, they had on long jackets, and they had these masks on. And I clearly remember my mom saying, you know, I have no idea what that is, but when you get to high school, I want you to try it out. She did with huge success. It was the first time in my athletic career that I could remember, you know, being seen solely for my skill set. Muhammad went on to compete at Duke, a three-time All-American, and win gold as part of Team USA in the 2014 World Fencing Championships. But she couldn't change how people looked at her off the fencing strip. When you walk down the street, when you travel, when you go through TSA, what is your reality? Nightmare. <laughs> I mean, TSA is a nightmare. I'm sure it's a nightmare for everyone. Always randomly selected for a special search, always. Always <laughs> randomly. Always <laughs> randomly selected um, for like special screening. And when you travel as much as I do as an athlete, that can be frustrating. The current political environment also frustrates Mohammed, driving her to do something most Olympic athletes usually avoid talking politics. Specifically, she's taken on Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. Starting with his call in December for a temporary ban on Muslims entering the U.S., tweeting, friends don't let friends like Trump. I say the words Donald Trump and you say... I don't know. <laughs> what do you say? Where do you start? You think he's dangerous? I think that his words are very dangerous. When these type of comments are made, no one thinks about how they really affect people. I'm African American. I don't have another home to go to. My family was born here. I was born here. We've, we've you know, I've, I've grown up in Jersey. All my family's from Jersey. It's like, well, where do we go? I'm hopeful that in my efforts, you know, to represent our country well as an athlete, that they change the rhetoric around, you know, uh, how people think um, and perceive the Muslim community. That's one of the reasons she was invited to the Islamic Center of Baltimore this year for President Obama's visit. I told her to bring home the gold. <laughs> We don't have and much to her surprise, being different has now made her one of the celebrities of the U.S. Olympic team, with a stream of profiles, photo shoots, and lucrative endorsements. I'm solely focusing on, you know, um, just preparation. Train, train, train. Train, 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 yeah. And hopefully, gold. I always say that if, you know, I'm blessed to win a medal this summer, that it will be icing on the cake.